15 for dry and an extra 10 if you use the power pedestals. Nearly froze my ass off last night here. The low was 16. I went through two pounds of propane. Oh, burr. Burr. It was well below freezing at eight o'clock last night. I was like, holy moly. Sun went down at like 4.30. I kid you not. Anyway, but it's a pretty nice campground. Kind of pricey for a 15 dry, but I got to use the dump station to dewinterize Edna, so that was cool. And I have to get out of this area. I'm going to head down to Henderson. I have to meet a friend, have dinner with a friend. Plus, I don't want to be in temperatures this cold at night. It's just not fun for me. I mean, and plus I'm spending so much money on propane every night. It's it's not. So, Southern Arizona, here I come, baby. Woo! 60s and 70s. Yes, please. Oh, I can handle 30s at night. But when it starts getting into the teens and single digits, uh-uh. I'm not having fun anymore. So anyway... But the sun is out, it's gonna be a good day. What do you think, buddy? What's that? What's that? Hi. Louie hasn't learned yet that the warmest place in the van is under the covers with mommy. I tried to tell him, I tried to show him, but he wasn't having it. He slept under the bed, mostly. Under the cold, cold bed. Did you freeze your tail off? <laughs> oh, buddy, you're so precious. You ready to hit the road? To warmer tips? Say, heck yeah, lady. Yeah, so this is a new thing. I got two plants in the van. Don't really have room for them, but I really like them. And I like clean air. And this one's aloe. But I don't know if they made it last night in the freeze. Because it was freezing cold in here. Oh, man. Oh, well. We'll see how they do in the desert. I see caves, but I'm not going in there. It's already cold enough out here as it is. Shall we continue down the road? Or are you seen enough? I've kind of seen enough, <laughs> but I'll do it for you. Oh, the sacrifices I make. Just kidding. There's actually like a little, I don't know, little castle tower down here. So, well, maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll do a drive-by. 
Oh, my ears are cold. There's the campground over there to the left. And this is basically it. Um, just this one road next to these cathedral gorges, which is kind of cool for a little Nevada State Park. Campground is very, very clean, well kept, firewood stocked, rangers coming, cleaning up constantly. Slot canyons are narrow. Please maintain social distancing. Fuck you. Yeah, I know, they have to. Oh, do I really want to get out and go in there? I really don't. <laughs> it's not that I'm lazy. I just did not sleep well, y'all. And it was so cold. I think I got four hours of sleep. Maybe. And every time the heater would turn off, I would wake up. Because, you know, it makes that noise. Oh, look at all those people. Hard pass. Hey guys, it's Christmas Eve tomorrow. What are you doing here? <laughs> I feel like that will be a good place to visit during the fall. And just not during the winter. Which is what is really annoying to me. Like, I I wish I could do it all over again. Um, I wish I would have stayed in Texas and enjoyed the fall weather there a little bit more and camped around. Um, and now that I'm here, it's too cold to do anything besides go to the desert in Arizona. <sighs> Brr. So, that's annoying. You would think I'd know how to do stuff by now. Been on the road for, well, I've been a nomad for four years. Uh, so, <laughs> but you know, I've been stationary a lot this year. So, uh, trying to get back into the swing of things, really.